Brian, welcome to the party, brother. We got a great guest tonight, all right? We know it's spring break down there. Yes, sir. Come on, man, Darian Yo. Davis. Darian. Davis. The man himself. Jordan. Let's see, what's the word? I heard uh, you had some John Morant-like bounce. I don't know if that's true, but that's Pack what Greg was talking Yo. about. <laughs> you know what's crazy? No one, like, I'm on this little scene, this little one-on-one scene right now, but, like, no one even knows, like, I have bounce, like... Yo, really? that was that was like the old me. I still I know, got Greg, it sometimes, but it's real. I be heard a lot. Saying, so. Greg was saying you dunked on him a few times in practice. Oh, so <laughs> we, we, we could go back to to the days where I used to I used to demand Darian. He couldn't leave. He couldn't leave the gym until we played until we played about twenty <laughs> games. A That's a fact. Yes, sir, yeah. <laughs> but uh, tell us, tell Especially, us. How yeah, you ain't got no health defense. You on that island? Yeah. 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 If, if you, you going, you go freestyle, right? No, like limit dribbles. Nah, most of my games would be three limits. OBL wasn't, though. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you're freestyle, you you can get tired real quick, or the opponent Absolutely. gets tired, you can definitely catch a body. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You just got to be in shape enough. I seen it on Instagram. They had just did, like, Houston and Atlanta. Okay. And they said they was coming to New York. So it was, like, right up my alley. You know, one-on-one is what we do. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm gonna go. Um, but I had to submit footage and all that. I submitted it. Um, Tracy and them hit me back, told me they wanted me to participate in that. The qualifiers out in New York. It was in Brooklyn, though. It wasn't on the island. Oh, so really? I literally got the phone call at a Favi concert. Like, <laughs> man, wow. got the phone call. It was like, yo, it's, it's this weekend. I'm like, all right, bet. I'll be there. Let's yeah, for sure. Wasted no time. Got right in the gym for like the next couple of days and then I pulled up. We played, uh, you had to play seven games to qualify to go to the next day. The top eight make it to the next day. So the first day I went six and one. I lost my first game actually. Tight. I didn't realize like the, how tired you was go get, like managing your energy throughout the whole mm. game. Long yeah. rebounds, like it's continuous. So if you, if they miss a shot, you got to go with the rebound. And then if you miss that, like you got to get back on defense. So the conditioning was crazy for me and I ain't been bowling. So that first game, I was like mentally not checked in the way I needed to be. And then I turned it up. I was able to tap yes. in down went six and oh for the rest of the day. Uh, made it to the second day and then uh, I made it to the top three. So if you make if you make the first if you win the first game, you make it to the semifinals. Top three go to Vegas and then Vegas was great. So you have to win every game. To, to win your region, yeah. The okay. second day, you have to go undefeated. Yeah, playing freestyle one-on-one compared to the three-dribble is a completely different game, man. It's completely I already know a completely different game. Like, I've done I've done both. Honestly, the most, like, you save the energy the most off of three dribbles, but you also can't show your full bag. So, like, because it's yeah. limited. Three dribbles, they got, like, a 10-second shot clock, so you really can't get everything you want off. That's like practice. Three dribbles, yeah. honestly. I, I think the hardest thing playing freestyle one-on-one is just staying in a stance but like you don't know how long yeah but it's, it's it was a good and bad thing i mean it, it wasn't really bad it's just if you was in condition or not so like let's say i mm-hmm. missed a shot for 12 seconds i play defense for 12 seconds go get a rebound someone's guarding me tough for a whole 12 seconds that's 24 seconds of straight offense and defense i miss yeah. my shot they miss a shot like you could be playing offense and defense exerting mad energy for like a good minute so yeah. certain times towards the end of the games it was about whoever wanted it more Whoever had, who was ever, whoever was in better condition normally, typically yeah. won those games. I'll be there May six. Oh, you'll be there May six. Hold on, we got a scary announcement. <laughs> we got a scary announcement. You'll be there May six, Curtis High School, Staten Island, New York. You heard it here yeah. first. You heard, well, it, here you heard it here first. Oh, listen, you just got me hyped a little bit, but scary news. <laughs> mom, mom. Scary news. Yes. Deontay, scary. Darian Davis will be on the island. Stay tuned. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm buying 10 more tickets myself now and I'm giving them out because people got to be there for Pull this. Up. Hey, tell tell us, was Tracy with you in, in Brooklyn? Was he there or was he in Vegas? Like, how did you meet Tracy? How nah. was that? How was Tracy that? pulled up to Tracy? every single qualifying event. Tracy was there for the whole thing. Every city they went to, Tracy pulled up. He showed love. Tracy was there. He was talking to us. He mentored us. He coached us. He he, he was, he was wow. there. He was, he was involved. It was dope seeing him getting some knowledge from him, and you could kind of see like he he could see natural talent, so he would gravitate towards the games that was good, obviously. Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so so you go to you get to Vegas, and is it people from around the country that you're competing yeah. against? Mm-hmm. So 
It's the top three from every city. I think they went to like eight oh, cities. Wow. But where was that game now? All of a sudden, Kyrie's in the building and you're still showing out. Was that OBL or is that another? Nah, that was something different. So Kyrie got his own event. It's called More Than a Run. He just started up like two, three years ago where oh, he nice. hosts like one on one games and then he has like a big like celebrity game. So, um, oh, wow. Truck, who, who picked players in OBO, who from NY, of course, was like, yo, I think I could get you a good matchup in the Kyrie event. I was like, if you could do that bet, let me know. Like, I'm down. But then he got me. Yep. We, we set it up. Kyrie, my favorite place. So, you know, I was supposed to be there. Wow. Yeah, nah, <laughs> so that's... I'm like, I don't care who I play. And, that's uh, now nah, I was able to put on, I lost by one, but it was, it was a great fucking game. More than a run. I'm definitely going to stay, stay tuned. That's in Jersey that he hosts it or? Uh, the first couple of years was in Jersey, but you know, he just got traded to Dallas. So they trying to see what they doing with that this summer. Hopefully they have it again. Hopefully I'm invited again. That'd be dope. What do you think about uh, your boy Kyrie over in Dallas? I mean, did you like him in New York? Do you mind where he is? You're just a I loved him. I loved him with KD in New York. I loved him when all three of them was there. I think if, you know, obviously he don't roll his ankle, James Harden don't get hurt, I think the playoffs would have been a little different. I think they would have still been together because I think they was going to walk, walk all the way to the finals, especially the first year. The second yeah, but... year, when it was just KD and Kyle, I still feel that way too. Kyle doesn't what? get hurt. KD hits the three. His foot's not on the line. Maybe Kyrie comes back. They 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 get people out of there. Him and Lucas tough too. It's just a different combination. And before KD's injury, they were one of the top teams. Absolutely. The, yeah. So like people say it's failed, but it's also if if COVID ain't happened and Kyrie was able to play those games and yeah. Brooklyn yeah. would have been walking through everybody. Like it's it's it was a bunch of different things that happened. I feel like, but yeah. people just say it's. Like, they blame Kyrie. It's a, it's a whole bunch of shit. I, I'm, I'm me personally, not with I, the politics. If they was all on the court together. We already know what would have happened. So me, me personally, I think the NBA should give him, like the NBA should be almost be fine and give him money back and uh, a public apology to Kyrie for what they did to him, especially for the sure. Nets, especially the for Nets sure. organization. They didn't back him at all, and then nope. they kept it quiet after everything came out. Everything. COVID was, mm. was done with the NBA. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, like I said, I think it was ridiculous. I think the NBA should, or the sponsors that were with Kyrie should go back to him, like, kind of like uh, how Kanye got Adidas back. Something along those lines. That's but official? I think Kanye, so. I, think it's, Kanye definitely I don't know if it's official, but. Yeah, that's too much well, money. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. there's it it a couple of keys. Brian, you bring up an interesting point. New York's mandate got lifted and nothing happens with Kyrie. Nothing happens with the Nets organization. They find some Amazon right. weird stuff to keep coming up. I, I, I agree with you. I, obviously, having James, Kevin, and Kyrie on the same court, that's ridiculous. But if they were so close, they were so, so close, it feels like there had to be something else driving them away from Brooklyn because whether it's the media or ownership, who knows? Because who knows who's going to see this? But we got my man Darian Davis on the potty <laughs> though, bro. So who you got coming out the West? Who you got coming out the East there? You, I mean, don't tell me Dallas just because of Kyrie. I, I mean, listen. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I personally feel, I said this last year too, before the season started, so I don't even want to hear no bullshit. Okay. I really, I really believe in the Warriors again. Like, I just think fully loaded, hopefully, whatever, you know, Andrew Wiggins got his own rumors out, but if Andrew Wiggins comes back and that, that Warriors team fully loaded. Playoff time, mm -hmm. they know how to turn it on. I think they go turn it on the same way they turned it on last year. They they, they are play wasn't even fully play wasn't even fully healthy last year. They won the chip like they fully loaded, ready for the playoffs this year. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's hard to beat them in a seven game series, honestly. Yeah, and you, I you had them coming out the West again. Yeah, you can't count them out because first off, they're so good at home. It's unbelievable how good at home <laughs> yeah. they are. But when they go away, they're so bad. But like yeah, in the they playoffs, had a terrible road record. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if they get Andrew Wiggins back, their defense gets better. I think right. they win a couple more away games. Um, but also they turn it up in the playoffs. Like every team does. So the Warriors, when they turn up, when they're away in the playoffs, it's a different it's a team. So a, I mean, you never, you never know. They they could take because they're not going to have home court advantage, but they take those three games it. and they just got to win one on the road. Right. Yeah. But so I, yeah, I, I could definitely see it happening. Andrew Wiggins is so tough. We need him back. I hope uh, all the, the noise is gone by then because 
I think, you know, despite their size, that's the only thing that can limit them just because they play mm -hmm. that small ball, but it worked last year. Right. It and they can, shoot, they can shoot their way past it. The only other thing I can see is if they sneak into that seventh seed, they're going to see Sacramento first round. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Them. I ain't scared. <laughs> yeah, Sacramento's definitely. <laughs> I mean, listen, credit to them. They Sacramento's buzzing right now. They got in. Okay, that's cool. Hey, listen, I got a lot of Kings fans that I'm – you know, send the text to like, hey, congrats, but first round. <laughs> but yo, so so that's the West for you. Okay, but who's the Warriors? Who's the Warriors gonna see on the East then? That, we got the Knickerbockers, but the Celtics are tough. Knicks are done. I honestly <laughs> like are done. Knicks are done, bro. Come on. <laughs> that's the first round. You, you can tell we got a Nets fan in the building. <laughs> honestly, I like the Celtics or the Bucks. I honestly think the Celtics have the more complete team, deeper roster, but mm. you just never could count out the Bucks. Like ooh, when they got their five on the court, they only yeah. need to rotate about seven deep, and they could get the job done against whoever. So, yeah. and Giannis yeah. is honestly unstoppable, and he he wins on will. Like he just gonna outwill you to win the game. So I feel like you can't take that away from him neither. I, I like the Bucks over the Celtics, but. Celtics are right there with them, honestly. Mm -hmm. My thing and is, then I got I got Warriors winning the championship. Oh, yeah, Warriors, and if Warriors don't make it, I, the, the the second place, depending on I don't, we really don't really know how KD looking with Phoenix yet. Great. But let's say they're not as great, it would be the Clippers as my sleeper to make it to the finals. Clippers is OJ. Hey, that's what I'm. I saying. think they revving up for the players. You know, they'd yeah. be bullshit in the first half of the season. Kawhi and PG, they don't really play since All Star break. They mm -hmm. all been playing together, getting that feel. I think they just, they only care about the playoffs. I think playoffs, we go see a, a monster. Yeah, they, they cruise a lot of Clippers, for sure. My, my thing with the Celtics versus the Bucks, I think the Celtics have more firepower. So it's, it's going to be a close game. So when that fourth quarter comes along, it's going to be a close game. I think the Celtics are going to take more games from in the fourth quarter because they have Jason Tatum, they have Marcus Smart, they have uh, Jalen Brown. They have all this uh, scoring power for the fourth quarter, so I think they'll take a couple of games and beat the Bucks. That's true. The, the 2023 playoffs is honestly going to be probably one of the best in a while. Because, <laughs> of the, because, I mean, because the Warriors might be in a play-in. The Lakers might be in a play-in. You're talking about a playing game. Meanwhile, the Kings are this young team. Brian hooped against their backcourt, Malik and, and, and De'Aaron over it when they were yeah. in Kentucky. Then you got like teams That's like... Then you got like teams in the East, like Philly, who's like they don't got the bench to really compete with the with the depth of the second units in the in the in the you know in the Boston and the and Milwaukee because that's what it really comes down. That second unit comes in and it's like if you don't lose a beat, if you don't lose a step, you still got scorers there. That second unit is deeper in the NBA. So that's where the Warriors to me they got Dante Divincenzo. I mean he was a, a starter in Milwaukee for a little bit. So now you have him, you know, for depth and stuff like that. It's gonna be a it's going to be a great playoffs. And then, and then you got Memphis. If Ja can come back, what do you think about Ja's situation before we, you know, before we wrap up? You know, not too much. We came at the New York Post a little bit ourselves, you know. <laughs> Being a new media, a new media outlet from New York, we had to say something to the Post because they they got to mind their um, business. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, that's too much. I got a, I got a couple different, like, feelings about it. Like, he a young, he a young kid, super young, worth 400 M's. He's going to want to live his life. I don't think they should have ever released the photos of him being in the strip club because that's probably how all the NBA players look at strip clubs after hours. <laughs> no footage should ever get, should have ever got leaked. Him going on live, I don't know. That's some attention seeking shit that I feel like mm. he's trying to portray. He got this image that he's been trying to portray for a little minute. Did he need to do it? Nah, just go enjoy your night. Be with some bitches, get some, you know, drink apparently. Just yeah. enjoy your night. Go crazy, bro. Yeah. Just say bro. through like 50 bands up in here. Like, go crazy, enjoy yourself. You don't <laughs> got to be on live with a gun. Why are you even thinking about a gun? You got bitches in front of you. Like, I, to me, I don't know what's going on with his mind, but that's young mentality <laughs> shit. I don't know. Like, he probably felt like he on top of the world. He could do whatever. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go judging for it. He young kid. No, nah, man. That's what it was. It was like, at first, it was the, the Instagram live, and it's like, all right. Well, backtrack. It was like, yo, no one in the West scares me. And then it's like, well, right. <laughs> 
Then, then Uncle Sharp, I said, I've said this before. Then, then Shannon Sharp comes out of nowhere and wants to de demolish all of Memphis. And, <laughs> and then, then you had the IG Live. That's where the media had the had the leverage, in my opinion. That's where you had right. the argument like, Josh, slow down, like worry about ball. But then it was, it was the New York Post. That, that's where they, it kind of turned. Yeah. Like now, now it's like you got the Jalen Rose interview with him. Like he he committed a felony. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't go that didn't that, it. that interview was crazy, son. They they should have never did that. That shit was horrible, bro. Come on, <laughs> it wasn't that serious. It really wasn't that serious. Well, that's just. Yo, I mean, no, nah, that was some stuff like out of a movie. That's what it was. Like that's and, that's and stuff John, you see out of so bad. Like he didn't even have enough. Like who's his PR team, son? Like. Y'all talking about, I just wanted to be free. <laughs> Yo, Josh, shut the fuck up. Turn the Someone turn the camera off. <laughs> but, John, yeah, it's like, crazy. yo, just get back on the court and, and be you because, I mean, listen, the first, the no, first. Yo, no one will believe you, Greg. No one will believe you that I hey, have bounced. I need to see some highlights. I remember texting you the first time I saw him. Maybe it was on uh, when he was in Murray State or whatever he was in college. I remember hitting you like, yo, bro, this kid is, this kid yeah. reminds me of you, bro. You did. And, and, you did. and just, just to see where he is, I really hope he gets on back on the court because he really is a, a stud. And Memphis had a shot yeah. if Ja doesn't get hurt against the Warriors. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, did. they did. They're That's still true. a big threat in the West. We're on the potty right now. My man Darian stopped in. We we had scary news. May 6th, he'll be on Staten Island, New York, Curtis That's High School. Man, I wouldn't let him leave, Brian. I wouldn't let him leave. Like, yo, bro, you we have to play like ten games of one on one before after we left every practice for real. Greg, you, Greg, you were the playmaker. You were the assist guy. Come on, you were you were never. Greg's that one on one game is Greg's one on one game is there. A lot of people don't know. Very shifty, mm -hmm. very pro like. Yeah, he's got can't, the change of pace. Can't give him a jump shot at all. Any space. Uh, yeah, Greg is tough for sure. I appreciate the words, but it's Coach Greg now. I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm watching now. I'm watching. Trying... But um, yeah, I'm having an event soon, so I'm gonna oh. keep y'all posted. Nice. And we got Darian Davis. Stay tuned. Uh, go follow him. Give him a follow. Blue chip talent. All right, we'll, we'll, we yeah. got you on here, man. But you're welcome on the party anytime, bro. <laughs> and we appreciate you stopping in, and and I'll see you soon, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Love you, baby. You are now tuned in to the party. Where the party at? Party. Where the party at? Where the party at? You know I can't forget to wash my hands. Action. Can you get up my face? I'm on the party. <laughs> <laughs>